What's up, family? Man, I want to continue our relationship series. This is going to be part 13. Um, why our relationships fail. Why our relationships fail. Stay with me. We're going somewhere. If we were to ask, why, does your, why did your relationship fail? The great majority of people said, man, it failed because, man, we just couldn't get our finances right. It failed because she was cheating or he was cheating or he wasn't, you know, understanding. He wasn't attentive. He wasn't, you know, he didn't want to spend quality time at home. He was distant. He was da -da. You know, we have all these different things as to why we say our relationships fail. And none of them really get to the heart of the matter. None of them really address the real issues. Stay with me. We're going somewhere. Our relationships fail not because of these things. This is going to get deep. Our relationships fail because uh, we were programmed for them to fail. Our relationships have been programmed to fail. It's inevitable for our relationships to fail. It's inevitable. It's inevitable because we were set up from the gate. What am I saying? What, what do I mean by that? When you look at the fact that, man, you grew up in whatever environment you grew up in, you grew up in whatever household you grew up in, and you saw your daddy being abusive, you saw your daddy distant, you saw your daddy a drug addict, you saw your daddy you know, narcissistic and controlling and, you know, not there. Or your mama wasn't there. Your mama wasn't nurturing. Your mama wasn't compassionate. Your mama wasn't attentive to your needs. And what to do? So you go back to your childhood and you, you get your spouse. For them to go back to their childhood and all of the things that they went through as a kid has programmed them for their relationships to be unsuccessful. Why? Because we have all this stuff, all this stuff from our childhood. They have, our spouse has all that crap from their childhood. And we've never learned how to deal with that. And we knew that that shit was crazy and fucked up and da 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 for the most part, but we never learned how to deal with that in a healthy manner. We never learned how to resolve that in a healthy manner. And so we got all this stuff from our childhood. My daddy wasn't there and da 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 da. So when you go into this relationship and you're kind of controlling and manipulative because you're going to make sure that your kid's daddy's there because your daddy wasn't there. And so you come off as kind of controlling and demanding and needy. Because your daddy wasn't there. And so you have all these expectations and demands for your baby's daddy. Because your daddy wasn't there to fulfill those things. So you could come across as kind of clingy sometimes. You could come across as, yeah, I don't really trust dudes too much. Yeah, I need you to be in a relationship, but I know you're going to fuck up. Because every guy's fucked up because my daddy fucked up. My daddy wasn't there. My mama was there, but she wasn't there emotionally. And so we have all this baggage that we don't even know is detrimental to our relationship. We have all this baggage from our childhood. That is catastrophic to us, to our relationships. Any one of those issues can be a bomb to our relationships. Any one of those is childhood issues can be a landmine in a relationship. So you stop and think, all the things that you've gone through that was unhealthy. And then you sit there and take your spouse or your significant other and all the things that they've gone through that was unhealthy. Both of you bring all of that crap 
with you in these relationships. And then you have all the, and we're just talking about from your childhood. We're not talking about from your failed relationships. We're just talking about the childhood traumas. This ain't got nothing to do with your past boyfriend, your first husband, your first baby daddy. This ain't got shit to do with none of them. We just talking about your childhood trauma. You bring all that crap into your relationship. Your partner brings all their crap. And again, we're not talking about their exes and none of that other shit. We're just talking about their childhood crap. And because we've never learned as kids how to deal with our shit in a healthy manner, we grew up fucked up. We grew up carrying all of this bullshit with us. And we don't know how to deal with this shit, how to heal this shit, how to release this shit. So from childhood, our relationships were destined to fail. Now you take your childhood trauma. You take your spouse's childhood trauma. Add on to each of those individuals all of their failed relationships. Then add on the stress of the finances and working and just getting to each, getting, getting, you know what I mean? Becoming one as a couple. Let me say it this way. Mary Sue right here and Billy Bob, they both got all this childhood trauma, unhealthy shit that they're bringing with them. Both of them got Four girlfriends and boyfriends that they've had in the past. Four exes. You know what I mean? Not marriage. Just Bob had four girlfriends. Mary Jane's had four boyfriends. They come together. And they said they're going to make this work. Each of them have their failed relationships in the past. Each of them have and all the crap that they've gotten from those relationships added on top of all the childhood crap their low self-esteem their insecurities their self-doubt their self-hate their abandonment issues their codependency and all the other psychological issues and emotional issues from their childhood. Now in the failed relationships, you add all that crap on top of it. And then for whatever reason, whatever twisted psychotic reason, we think too unhealed, too fucked, up damaged individuals who's never resolved their shit can come together and make a happy relationship and have a healthy relationship when they've never been healthy in the first place neither one of them Billy Bob wasn't healthy he didn't grow up in a healthy environment he don't know what healthy is he knows what normal is and toxic is his normal, is his normalcy. Mary Jane, she don't know what fucking healthy is. Toxic, dramatic. She brings that in, that's normal to her. <coughs> so you got both people not even understanding how damaged they are. You have both people Wanting to have a healthy relationship. And they neither one of them have an idea of what a healthy relationship is. They have no clue what a healthy relationship is. 
but they're expected and their expectation is we're gonna, because I love you and because you love me, we're gonna get together and we're gonna stay together forever until death do us part and all this other shit. And we are twisted and think that we're going to do that. We're going to stay with each other. And our relationship is going to be healthy and loving and nurturing and supportive and all this other stuff. When we don't have any idea of what that stuff is. It's like... I'm not a doctor, I've never been to med school, never. That would be like me saying, you know what? Because I love my son, I have no idea how to perform open heart surgery. But because I love him and I know this is what he needs, I'm gonna, I think this is what he needs. I'm gonna go in and perform open heart surgery on my son. I don't have the fucking training. I don't have the fucking expertise. I don't even have the fucking knowledge of how to do that. And we don't know how to be normal. Or we know how to be normal, but we don't know how to be healthy. We've never been emotionally healthy. We've never been emotionally stable. And it doesn't matter how much you love God. You can love God all you want to. If you're not emotionally stable, your relationship ain't gonna last. And it don't matter how much you love God. If you don't, if you, you can love God all you want to. And that don't mean you're going to have a loving, nurturing, compassionate, healthy relationship. Just because you love God. And just because you love each other, you got to get some motherfucking information of how to have a healthy, loving relationship. And neither one of you have that information. Neither one of you know what that look like. So how can you expect for your relationship to be healthy, loving and nurturing. When you've never put in the work to understand what that looks like. When you've never put in the work to understand, man, I'm not healthy. If Mary Jane ain't healthy and Billy Bob ain't healthy, emotionally how the fuck can they have a healthy relationship and neither one of them are emotionally stable neither one of them are emotionally balanced this is why our relationships fail this is why it's inevitable for our relationships to fall and to fail this is why it's inevitable for us to get hurt and fucked up in our relationships because all we know is drama and chaos and pain and suffering. Because that's normal to us. And love is not going to make that go away. Love is not going to erase the pain and the suffering and the trauma. Love is not going to erase the baggage that we carry. You got to do the self work. Billy Bob has to do the self work. Mary Jane has to do the self work. If one of them do the work and the other one doesn't, the relationship still ain't going to be healthy. Both the people.
people have to say, man, we're fucked up. We're going to do it. Man, okay, how can I deal with this shit so that I can become healthy? She has to say, how can I deal with this shit so that I can become healthy? Once I become healthy and he becomes healthy, then we can have a healthy relationship. But we think all we got to do is pray about it and our relationship is going to be healthy. We think all we got to do is just give it to God and it's going to make our relationship healthy. We think all we got to do is read the motherfucking Bible and it's going to make our relationship healthy. We think all we got to do is just love each other and that's going to make our relationship healthy. No, the fuck it ain't. It ain't. It can't. We have to grow the fuck up. There are no motherfucking shortcuts. You have to do the work. They have to do the work. And if only one of you decides that, man, I need to grow up. I need to deal with my trauma. I need to deal with my baggage. And the other one doesn't. The relationship is still going to crash. The relationship is still going to fail. We have to grow up. We have to grow up. You cannot have a healthy relationship without the people in the relationship being healthy. It's impossible. Man. We got to see this. We have to see this. And we have to understand, great majority of us have to understand, okay, wait a minute, time out, time out, time out. Being emotionally healthy has nothing to do with how you physically look. Being emotionally healthy has nothing to do with how much money you have. It's a whole lot of motherfuckers with a lot of money that get married and still get divorced. It's a whole lot of motherfuckers that got money, got status. But they ain't dealt with their fucking trauma. They ain't dealt with their fucking bullshit. We can look at TV celebrities all fucking day. Damn, this motherfucker just can't get relationships, right? Damn, she's so motherfucking pretty. What the fuck is wrong with her that, man, she can't have a healthy relationship? How come none of her relationships last? How come her relationships always crash and burn and some bullshit? How come this motherfucker who's supposed to be a god, look how he looks, and he's so fucking cute and da-da-da-da-da, and so fucking handsome, but this motherfucker got unresolved issues. He can't keep a fucking woman. Got all the fucking money in the world. Any woman would want to be with him. But no woman wants to stay with him. She's bad as fuck. Every guy would want to do her. But no guy wants to stay with her. Because she has unresolved shit. She's not emotionally healthy. And money can't buy that. Status and fame can't buy that. You got to put in the work. You have to put in the work. Each of you. Before you even get in a relationship. You have to be healthy and this person has to be healthy emotionally. That doesn't mean that they have to be perfect. That I'm just saying to be emotionally healthy. They got to understand their trauma. They got to understand the baggage that they have. They have to understand the triggers. Man. 
We got to grow up. Hope and pray that I said something to encourage you, to inspire you, to even challenge your way of thinking. We have to grow up, family. Happy healing. Peace.